Hey, James Wise with Holton Wise. What do you get when you combine a little old lady house with a college rental? We're about to find out. Let's dive in. Seven two seven six Maplewood, Parma, Ohio. You see this nice little old lady house coming to you at one hundred twenty nine thousand nine hundred. It's got that nice brick front, has three beds, one bath, and we're gonna be able to rent this thing out for twelve hundred dollars. As we walk through this house right here, you got the living room. Nothing wrong with it. It's just dated. You know, this was an estate sale. The owner, she had lived here for many, many years. She took great care of it. As far as the kitchen, all we need to do is replace those dated cabinets with some nice granite or quartz countertops, and this thing is really going to shine. The annual taxes on this property are $1,566. Now, this property, it's actually at the very edge of Parma, the very southern border. It's going to border Middleburg Heights and North Royalton. If you've been following my content, you've read the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I grade all the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an A to F scale. Middleburg Heights, North Royalton, those are A-class neighborhoods. Parma is typically a B-class neighborhood. Now you see, B-class neighborhoods are typically the nicest neighborhoods we as real estate investors can invest in and still turn a profit. A-class neighborhoods are typically only owner-occupied buyers, only owner-occupied residents, and you know, they're gonna have price points $250,000, $400,000. Middleburg Heights and North Royalton are no different. So as investors, the nicest neighborhoods we can profitably invest in are gonna be B-class neighborhoods. Now this opportunity right here is great because you get to have a B-class neighborhood, but it's bordering an A-class neighborhood. So that is literally the best of both worlds. And on top of that, we are also right next door to Cuyahoga Community College. Cuyahoga Community College is actually where I received my associates in business. So we have a high quality house in a high quality neighborhood with an unlimited demand of college students. Now, I love investing in college rentals. If you take a look at this video right here, I break down my thoughts on investing in college rentals. Note that this is a community college. That video is going to center more around your universities. That's more of a frat boy kind of thing. You know, 18, 19, 20 year old kids moved away from home for the first time and they're just partying and beer bonging, going totally nuts, going totally wild. The community college tenant base is going to typically be an older student. They're furthering their education, trying to further their situation in life, but they're doing so while working a full-time job or taking care of a family. So they're a little bit more low key. So this house is going to have an amazing tenant base that's going to be super, super low risk. You see, if you focus yourself only on cash flow, you're missing the bigger picture when it comes to investing in real estate. You might just find yourself chasing that cash flow number that you saw on someone's spreadsheet. You might chase that number right into the ghetto. If you're following my content on my Instagram page or the educational videos we put out here on the Holton Wise YouTube with all that tenants from hell stuff, the crazy stories like the time someone tried to burn my house down or the time we evicted someone from one unit in a building and they just moved themselves right into the other unit. That kind of stuff that happens in those lower class neighborhoods. You don't really find that type of stuff here. The rougher the neighborhood, the higher the risk. This property doesn't have that. I know a lot of you are watching this from out of town. You might be sitting at your computer or looking on your iPhone and you're in LA right now and you really want to invest in real estate. You really want to get in the game, but you're like, ah, oh, James, I don't know. There's a lot of risk to investing in real estate. I've heard things can go bad. Things can go south. That's where you get that tenants from hell stuff. You've heard about that, but that's lower quality stuff. If you're an investor who loves risk and has the stomach for it and wants to chase the best possible returns, those lower class neighborhoods, they could be for you. I invest in those. For others of you who are a little more risk adverse, this is the house for you. This house is going to be super, super low risk because of that high quality tenant base, because it's a nice solid house. This is something that you can go ahead and use other people's money. This is a perfect house for you to park your money safely and securely. Utilize leverage, get a loan, put down 25%, have those tenants pay off the other three-fourths. No matter what, you're going to quadruple your money because those tenants are paying for that loan. That doesn't include any cash flow and that doesn't include any appreciation. And let me give you a little tip on appreciation. You have high-risk neighborhoods and you have low-risk neighborhoods. When the market's going great, 
The first houses to appreciate are going to be those low risk houses. Why? Because they're in high demand. The houses that appreciate the least are going to be those high risk houses. Why? Because they have the lowest demand. When the market goes down, the houses that are going to go down first, the low demand houses, those high risk houses, they're going to be the first houses to see a price reduction. The more desirable low risk houses like this one are going to be the last houses that are going to see a drip. Why? Because the people in that area need to live somewhere and these are the more desirable assets. If you're interested in those high risk investments and you have the stomach for it and you want to chase those returns and you're not afraid of the ghetto or you're not afraid of my tenants from hell content, you could probably go ahead and stop right now because this house, this video isn't for you. Go ahead and check out some of the other content we have here on the page. But if you're one of those investors who's very risk adverse, this house is for you. The house, it's not that old. It was built in 1958, so we don't have any knob or tube electrical in this house like a lot of these really old 1900, 1915 Cleveland houses that we have out here. As we go down into the basement, we have a partially finished area. It's got a nice little bar. Not a bad touch for those college students. <laughs> Although, like I said, they're not chugging beers or doing beer bongs like those university students. But it's still a nice feature. We go over into the unfinished area. We take a look at the mechanicals. Now, this is an estate sale, so I, I can't actually go to the seller and ask her exactly how old all of these are. But based on my observations, I feel like that furnace is probably 10 to 15 years old. They have a life expectancy of 30 to 40 years. That hot water tank appears to be 5 to 10 years old. Hot water tanks are going to usually last you about 15 years. The AC unit outside, same thing. It's probably the same age as that furnace. The roof, we flew the drone up over the house to take a look at that. If I had to guess, I would say that roof has at least 20 years of life left into it. If you'd like to buy this house, you can send me an email at jameswise at holtonwise.com or simply click the link above or below. Cleveland is one of the top rental markets in the entire U.S. Our prices are low, our rents are high. At Holton Wise, we are the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they're local, out of state, or abroad. As real estate brokers, we can help you buy the properties. We even have referrals for lenders who can loan on investment properties to investors located in all 50 states. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe, secure, and every property will be delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. We also have full-service property management. We can handle all tenant placement, maintenance, construction, and repairs. One day, when you're ready to sell this investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland area, we can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of real estate investors looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching the video. I'm James Wise, co-founder of Holton Wise. If you are interested in hearing more about me and my personal story, how I turned one investment property into a management portfolio valued over $50 million, I want you to go ahead and follow my personal Instagram, at HWPG. I want you to go ahead and click the subscribe button for more real estate deals and educational content, as well as check out some of the other videos we have throughout this channel. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy.